Alan Necessary here with Appalachian Baits. In this YouTube video, I'm gonna introduce you to our dough baits and what we use to fish them with. Right now, we currently have six scents or flavors, whichever one you wanna uh, call them. Uh, we put them in jars like this, and unlike our competition, we fill our jars to the top. Uh, this is made from 97% natural ingredients, and you can freeze this, refrigerate it, you can keep it out three or four days while you're fishing, just don't throw it in direct sunlight up on the dash of your truck, it will ruin it. But we're gonna go over a few of these that we have. This one here is called Roadkill. It imitates pellet feed, and uh, I'm telling you what, this is our number one seller, and it's the number one seller for a reason. The next one here is Old Red. As you can see, it is red, and Old Red is uh, a shrimp flavor. Then we have Toe Jam, and don't laugh, we all got country names on all our products because we are Appalachian based. And it's a, a olive green and got some green and gold flake in with it. This one here is used to be our number one seller, but old uh, Roadkill's been taking care of it. But this was garlic glitter and it still catches trout. This is my favorite when the sun's out in the middle of the day, garlic glitter. Then our latest release, Salmon Patty. This is to uh, get up there with our competition from Berkeley, Salmon Peach. Uh, people say, why don't you make a salmon flavor? Well, you got it now with Salmon Patty. And this is the top of our lid, how they look like. And this one here, another, if you got stained water, this is the one you wanna use, Blaze Orange. Blaze Orange is very good in stained water. Now, the hooks. Uh, a lot of times people will buy these baits and they'll say, well, I can't keep it on the hook. Well, the problem is with, it's the hook you're fishing it with, or you're not packing it on the hook right. Now, a lot of people will see me using these, these baits on the different variety of hooks, but what we recommend, and it's right on the side of the jar, and also on the rack cards we send, it'll tell you what types of hooks that you need to use. But to better show you, this is a number six bait holder hook. Now, what's a bait holder hook? It has little barbs on the back of the shaft. If you take your finger like that and feel them, that's a bait holder hook. You cannot take a crappie hook, you cannot take a non-bait holder hook and get it to stay on there very well. Now, if you're making long cast, if you're fishing underneath a bob or out in a lake or a pond, we also sell these. These are called dough bait treble hooks made by Spouth Bend, another American company. Uh, they've got a little spring in it. It's actually a treble hook with a spring attached. Uh, you, can, you can also just use a treble hook, but make sure wherever you're fishing that you're allowed to use treble hooks. Some waters don't allow that. You'll see me a lot of time, especially early spring, I'll be fishing uh, using a jig hook. Now the important part about fishing our baits on a jig hook, it's got to have this little keeper on it. Reason for that, the dough has to mold in around the keeper. That's what holds that dough on there. And once again, I don't care what type of hook you're using, use just enough bait to cover the hook. If you put too much on there, I see people walking around with power bait and it's this big around, it looks like a golf ball. You gotta remember trout are raised in hatchery and they're fed pellets. That's, that's not even as big as my, small, my smallest uh, nail on my hand. So they're, they're probably about a, uh, quarter inch by quarter inch pellets. So you don't need nothing big. A lot of times you will see me using these. These are 14 size 16 and uh, sometimes a size 10, what they're called is scud hooks. Now they don't have barbs on them, but the good thing about a scud hook is I, I usually use them when the water's clear, it's warmer. Uh, I use, and I, nine times out of 10, I will not use a sinker with any of my baits, my dough baits because you want that bait to roll naturally. But when I'm using a scud hook or any of those hooks, I use just enough bait to cover the hook. That way, the weight of the bait is not being thrown off when you throw it. And remember, pitching and tossing the bait is better than doing an overhead cast. I also get people say, my kid throws it off every time. I do a lot of kids derbies and I see how kids cast. They like to beat the water. They think the harder they throw, the better. So remember, this is a soft sinking dough bait. The cooler it is, the stiffer it is, but it's a soft sinking dough bait. 
Don't overthrow it, but I'm telling you, once you learn to fish with it, you're gonna see the rewards. So this is Alan Necessary with Appalachian Baits. These are our baits, and I hope to see you on the creek bank.